Excellent. John Krasniak said. Hey, JK in the house. Give it, give it a second for a few people to join in. Make sure all the cameras look good and exactly where I want them to be. I zoomed that one out a bit because the corner of the canvas was bad. Which one? The TikTok corner. Okay. We're going to zoom. We're going to uh, put YouTube down a little bit so we can get started nice and close for everybody. It's going to be fantastic. All right. So... There we go. Welcome to the show, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Paint with Josh Saturday Sessions. It's where we like to make up a painting right out of nowhere and teach you guys how to do it. So, make sure you tell me where you're watching from and what is your favorite sandwich. Give it, hit it in the comments right now. Where are you watching from? What's your favorite sandwich? We're going to go through the colors that we have here today. Everyone tells me I'm like... I'm, first, I'm trying to copy Bob Ross, and secondly, that I don't sound like him, which means how could I try to copy him? But if we were going to try to copy Bob Ross today, we'd have to talk really softly, right? Maybe you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. So, let's see. Plus, I don't have a, a microphone in my, in my lapel, right? Let's go through the colors. We have bright red, uh, cad yellow, phthalo green. We're probably not going to use either of these two right here. So, bright red. Thalo blue, alizarin crimson, midnight black, and a big old pile of titanium white, right? We've taken our canvas, and we've covered it in Bob Ross liquid white, so you have a little bit of coverage on there. And if you don't know what Bob Ross look, li liquid white looks like, it looks like this. And all you need, take a couple dabs. I usually put a few dabs in each corner of the canvas and then spread the paint all over the place, right? You don't want to have too much. You just want to have a little, little, little bit, so... All right, remember, tell us where you're watching from, and what's your favorite sandwich? Let's it's, go. It's Elizabeth Wolf's birthday. So. Elizabeth Wolf, happy birthday, happy birthday. Let's go right into our bright red. We're going to paint one of my paintings I did over last weekend called Islands of the Gods. I didn't make a tutorial for it, so we're going to paint that one today. And it's a, a lot of floating mountains out in the clouds, right? So we need a little bit of soft, reddish, pinkish glow in our sky maybe some down here too just rubbing it on there right and because we have that liquid white it starts to spread nice and evenly take some of our crimson get that in there just a little bit of crimson though it's going to want to take over all that pink you don't let it get too crazy all right maybe there's a little crimson up in here too why not why not leave a little bit of white area though now we'll go straight into our blue all those same colors look at that all those colors still on the brush Right? They're going to all mix together anyway when we start to blend. So we don't need a whole lot of blue. See, just that little few little dabs is almost taking over the whole brush. Come up, start to drop it in from the top. Right? We'll come over here. Bam, 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 bam. And we're going to work it in along the bottom as well. Come over from the sides. Just fill up that whole area. Right? We don't need a whole lot of paint. It's going to want to grow together. It's going to start to lighten and change and mix with that white paint. It's continually mixing with that white paint and that way it's gonna go into all these gorgeous colors, right? A Little bit of black, come up on top of the blue, same strokes, back and forth, all the way across, and then we're gonna cover the sides of the canvas with this same gray color. So London, do we have anybody watching? Where are people watching from? We do, hold on one <clears throat> second. Give me, hit me with some sandwiches. We got Reuben. Ooh. Uh, Fuzz needs a flex. Hey, Fuzzburger. All right, let's go around here. Hit me with some names. They where are they where are they watching from? We've got Utah, Michigan, Norway, Dallas, California, North Carolina, Wisconsin, Puerto Rico, Sweden, Colorado, Maryland, Finland, Florida, California, Philippines. Patty melt. That's, that's a sandwich. A, that's a good sandwich. Upstate New York, Illinois, Virginia, New Mexico, North Dakota, Illinois, Texas, South Dakota, Pennsylvania, Poland, Wyoming, New York, South Africa, Netherlands, Los Angeles, Ohio, Oregon, Wyoming, California, South Africa again, awesome. Detroit, Tennessee, Detroit, um, Swervin's in the house. Hey, Swervin. Uh, <clears throat> Sudan is in the house. Sudan. Somebody watching from Sudan. Someone's watching from Sudan. That is wicked. Tennessee, Texas, Chicago. Welcome, welcome. All are welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Now we beat the devil out of that brush. 
nice little two inch brush. This is a big brush, ladies, okay? Two inches is big when we're painting, right? When we're painting. Okay, we're gonna come into our lightest area first and just start crisscross stroking. Same brush, dab it off on a paper towel. You don't want it to be very wet when you come up here. All right, into those light colors, we just start to crisscross. Look, it's mixing those lines out, right? Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Bam, 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 bam. Remember guys, you can buy this painting before anyone else can get it. If you go to my Etsy store, paintwithjosh.etsy.com and search for the TikTok listing, All right? It's 25% off, it's on sale today only. And if you buy it during the show, it's gonna be cheaper than if you wait until afterwards, right? If you wait until after I'm finished, <coughs> then the price goes up about $40. So, get it now. Let's see. Excellent, look at that pink, a kind of darker pink into the lighter pink, leave some of that white, and then all of this gray and blue is gonna to wanna to grow down, right? So, I'm gonna dab the brush off on a paper towel right over here so there's not so much pink everywhere, right? Just, we didn't even beat the devil out of it. Just dabbed it off on a paper towel. How many people we got watching, babe? Uh, there are 12 on YouTube, 155 on TikTok, and Excellent. 54 on Facebook. Awesome. Remember, guys, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you're watching on TikTok and Facebook, you guys better be tapping that screen, baby. Tap the screen. Right? This is why we leave that light, that white area right here. And so all these colors can grow down. Look at that. Thank you so much for the roses. You guys are awesome. Let's see. Damn. Look at bring some of that gray in there. Let it mix in. All these gorgeous things, right? Woo! Just like that. You got this blended out sky. It goes from dark to light to a little bit pink to darker pink to lighter pink. Oh, it's great. Woo! Gorgeous! Right? Just like that. Man, you could do anything with this kind of sky right here. You could put a seascape in. You could put a far off end. You could put just a forest. You could just do one tree and some snow. You could do anything you want, right? Or, like us, we're going to do a bunch of mountaintops in the clouds. So, let's get our first layer of clouds going. Let's do it. I always forget which brush. I, this was the, I like using two fan brushes when we do clouds, right? And I like having one for light colors and one for dark colors. And uh, this was the light color brush until yesterday and it's immediately gone a darker color because we had to use it. <clears throat> then we got a new one out of the box. All right, how's that look back here? That looks pretty good. It does. That looks pretty good, right? Now we're gonna add all the clouds around these areas of color. And that way, it's gonna give it a lot of depth. And you don't even need a whole lot of shadows, especially if we have this darker color up here. A little bit of white. Why am I using the, I should have used the other one, silly me. But it's okay, either way. A little bit of white, right on this brush right here. Not even covering the whole brush. And you don't have to use a fan brush this big, right? This is one of those Gak Doctor fan brushes that I have in my Amazon storefront. And uh, they're like $10, you get like six of these all different sizes, they're amazing, right? And I make like three pennies off of when you buy a pack of them. So, go get those Gak Doctor fan brushes, like a million people. Oh my people. goodness, Frankie sent ice skates. Hey, oh, I just saw those. I was looking back at your phone. Yeah, that okay, was awesome. Okay, we're, we're gonna take this brush right here, and where are we gonna decide our first little layer of cloud is gonna be maybe way off in the distance. Not a whole lot of pressure on the canvas, because I don't wanna drop a whole lot of paint out here, right? This is the far off one. Way back there, just a little bit. Just mess it up, just like that. What happened to my camera over here? I can't see what I'm doing. There we go, oh, perfect, okay. Now we're gonna come with that one inch brush, right? And these are the four, well, five. We're gonna use five tools for today. All right, we're gonna use the two inch, the one inch, we've got our palette knife, and then the two fan brushes. That's all we're gonna use for today. Hey babe, would you say size matters when it comes to paint brushes? Uh, well, <laughs> no, not really, I guess. Not really. Okay. I would say, uh, I would say the quality of the brush matters the more. The quality, not the size. Right. Got it. The motion it. of the ocean brush. The motion of the <laughs> blending. Right. Got it. Okay, we're going to take our one-inch brush like this, come up here, just very softly, touching those things. If we push too hard or mix too many times, they're going to go away, right? Everyone's done that. You take a little bit of white, 
put it up against your sky and you mix it too many times, it's gone. You're like, where did all that go? Right, just a couple little soft little circles out there. And then we'll take our big old two inch brush, our house painting brush. Cut. <laughs> well, London calls it a house painting brush. That's it's from so my big. video. That's from my video. Yeah, London did a voiceover. Coach, it was awesome. Coach Dominic says uh, Bob Ross would be proud. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Okay, now we're going to start on our first mountain. Right, we've got like three sets of clouds and three mountains to make. So, in order to make those mountains, out of just the five colors that we're using, we're going to take a little bit of black, a little bit more crimson, a little bit of blue. Right, and that way it's <laughs> a little bit crimsonier than the rest. Going to mix uh, them all up right here. Marcy sent a hundred stars. Hey, thank you, Marcy. Hey, I was like. Anything else? <laughs> I was waiting on something else. Okay. So, uh, right was, here. That was my sentence. Oh, gotcha. Like, we need to do like a like a radio thing. Like, copy, over. <laughs> yeah, got it. Roger. <laughs> Roger, over. Okay, we're going to take the white and mix it into that kind of dark three little purpley black mixture that we make, right? Mix it all up. Don't want to have too much white because then it's going to go really light. And whatever we take right here and put onto the canvas is going to go even lighter than it is right here. So don't make it too light. Now we're going to take that, wipe off our old knife. We're going to come in, scrape up some of that paint, right? Make it even. I'm going to show each camera nice and close up, okay? Nice, even amount, just like that. I'm going to come over here to YouTube. Come over here to TikTok. Can everybody see that? A nice, gorgeous chunk of paint. I did Facebook already. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just missed it. No, I did each one. And then we're going to take this guy, right? That big old chunk of paint like that. And come up here way off in the distance. Make this full jaggedy. He's a jaggedy mountain over here. Crazy, right? Just like that. Dropping some of that color on. Scrape it all off, though. Don't leave a lot of paint back here. All that stuff is going to want to make the mountain grow. But look, I'm going to show you what we just scraped off. Can you see it on Facebook, babe? Yep. So Facebook, see it on YouTube. Little, there we go. All right, that's all that we scraped back off of the canvas. So you don't want to leave it all up there. It'll make your mountain grow too far, right? Now we're going to take our one inch brush again. Same brush that we did the clouds with. Look, it's all pink and stuff. Come up here, start to slide it out. Maybe pull this guy down in this direction, right? I never like pulling them all the same way. Maybe he's got another little ridge. Not a whole lot of detail back here because he's so far away up into the clouds, right? Woo, that's a cool little mountain back there. All right, look, the more dabs that we do, the more little mixing, we're going into the pink, picking some of that pink up, and then depositing it back into the gray, changing it. Right? Constantly mixing, 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 mixing. Very cool. All we're really worried about is what the top edge of it looks like, right? That's really it. Now, in order to make that mountain look 3D, because it looks very flat, unless you start following those little brush strokes and little lines and different stuff that we've created, right? Hey, so, Blake, yes, look. Blake Toten in the comments says in the 70s they had bob ross painting classes my grandmother was an instructor oh, so that's I'll have cool. her paintings you still have her paintings that's wicked yeah that's super cool that is cool okay we're going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of that blue that we scraped up and drag it over here you want it to be a very light blue though so more white more 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 this one is very far away so when they're further away, for our shadows, they need to be a little bit softer and lighter. And then as we get closer, they become darker, right? Same with our highlights. Further away, they need to be softer. And the further they get, the brighter they get. So let's mix all that blue up with that white so it's not very dark. There we go. Now we're going to take one little scrape of the purple and mix it into there. Just so you have those little differences. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. Look at all that marbling. Look at that, guys. Fantastic. All right, now we're going to decide which side should we put the shadows on. Should we put them on the left side and leave the right side in the, in the highlights? That's what would look good to me. All these little jaggedy peaks. So we're going to scrape up small amount of blue first, less than you did to pick up the mountain, because you don't want to dump too much, especially up here on the top, right? And just very, just, look, we just touched the canvas, so a little bit of that blue paint went a little dark, right? 
and I didn't touch the knife onto the canvas. That's the thing, you gotta hover over and just let the paint fall off. And then as soon as you touch your knife to the canvas and you start hearing the that bit, you know you're out of paint, right? It's gone, there's nothing left. So, it's hard to explain it any easier than that, you guys. Just like that, softly, not a whole lot of detail out there. Not a whole lot. Now we need to come in and make up a little bit of soft white, right? So we're gonna take up that white, I'm gonna scrape up some of the blue, and just a little squeeze of that purple too. And we'll put it over here. And this will make a, a brighter color. See that? A little bit brighter and a little bit more white. It needs to be brighter than this blue right here next to it. But not pure white, right? There we go. It's like a nice bright gray color. And again, that's gonna stand out off in the distance, way off off there, right? So we're going to scrape up a little bit of that white. Again, come up to the top and we'll start out here and get that little bit. There we go. Oh, yes. Come down. Just let it fall off nice and softly. Right? Little things. Maybe there's a little bit up here. A little bit over here. It got lit up. Pulling down in different angles, different little things. Right? Not everything is going to be in the light. Not everything's going to be in the shadows. Going to have a little mixture of both. <clears throat> Rocky Flying Squirrel says, You are such a great teacher and explain things so helpful. Thank you. Appreciate that. Way off here. Way off. You don't want to make him too big. There are too many details, right? Because he's a faraway mountain. Okay, now we're going to take that one inch. That uh, one inch. This is a one inch right here. Big old giant one inch. Wow. Yeah, if that's, 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 if that's that, when, when a woman says, how big is an inch? Yeah, uh, it's this big, baby. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we're going to take the two inch and come back here and very lightly, <laughs> right? Coming up, pulling away from the canvas so we don't reach the top. Very soft. It just starts to blend it. Sorry, and blur that, it. that wasn't very nice. Not yeah. women in general, just me. Oh, just has you. has no yeah. idea about men. <laughs> True. I could tell London. Yeah, it's a mile. Sure. <laughs> Mile long. You don't know that? Yeah, it's a mile and it takes a hundred hours. Yep. Okay, little soft. The little details, right? Now it looks like I'm kind of missing maybe if this was all sloping that way. So we'll go back to that same kind of grayish paint. Just add a few more little white things back here. Again, not not too many. Rocky flying squirrel agrees with me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I go, oh it's an inch. And then babe. Yeah. It's an inch. Yeah, it's an inch. That's right. <laughs> Actually, it's better for me if I tell you that that's an inch. Objects in the mirror appear closer yeah. than they. If are. that's an inch, then. Well, yeah, but you that's, that's you because you. I mean, that's not. It's not that far off an inch, but to me, I have no <laughs> idea. Someone asked me the other day during my candle life, "How tall is the twelve ounce candle?" And yeah. I was like, mm, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to well, get a yeah. measuring tape because I have no idea. For future reference, it's about four and a half inches, the, the 12 ounce handle. It is five inches. I measured it No, because it's we got the five by five by five box and there's still like a Yeah, a that's half because inch. Uline don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uline doesn't know. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna we've dabbed off all the color off of that brush. I can't believe you said Uline doesn't know how to make boxes. <laughs> it's like all they do. Somebody tag Uline and get them in here so they can yell at London. <laughs> so we've got our two inch brush like this. We're gonna just start tapping at the base, just softly tapping, right? Coming up, tapping down, dragging some of the little bit of white snow down. You can make more little ridges and more little details. Oh, look at our shadows. They start to come down too, right? And then we're going to rotate and go this way, just with the top bristles of the brush, right? Not using the whole two inches like that. That's kind of tilted or tilted, so I'm just using... The tip? The tip, exactly. <laughs> That's going to be a good TikTok right there. Uh, I, should, I should not be present in today's live. <laughs> I should not be present in Just a little life. bit of fog like that, right? And then we'll come back and just swipe back into the, the same thing, right? We're just feeding it back, right? Then watch, the more you mix this away, look at this. You just mix it in with that sky. You just blend your whole mountain away, right? It's gone forever. Now swipe it back in, same thing, like a clock, right? We started this side and then we by, over, by the time we got over here, our brush was facing the other way. 
So feed it up. We're gonna do the same thing three times, right? We tap it, we feed it. We, foot, we put paint on, we feed it, we tap it the last time and we feed it back the last time. Right, so I'm teaching you the, the same thing three times in a row, and we're gonna do three mountains. So you better learn today. Babe Richard Trent on Facebook says, beautiful painting. I was wondering if the same technique in using oil paints would be the same if I used acrylics. Uh, no. <laughs> or no. No, 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 no. It's a bit like, Richard, it's a bit like the difference between riding a bike and driving a car. <laughs> Right? That you're differences. still going forward, however... <laughs> no. What you do on a bike and what you do in a car is way different. <laughs> it's uh, acrylics are not. And there's, there's a lot of people out there, acrylic instructors, who will show you how to blend acrylics. Um, but I've never seen a situation where acrylics blend as easily as oil paints do. Oh, and I can't get it to do that. I can't, I mean, I can't get acrylics to act like oils for me. So, when I do the, like, if you did the same thing that I did, people have done it. Am I good? Yes, you're good. I'm just mm -hmm. checking. Okay. Yeah. And uh, people have done it, and they go, it doesn't work. Well, it's a different medium, right? Oils stay wet for a long time. Like, I could go back up and change what that cloud looks like if I wanted to. By, by pushing hard, I could blend it away. I could do all sorts of things. When in acrylics, that would have been dry by now. And you'd have to redo your whole sky, you know what I mean? So, let's come back. We're going to grab a little bit of white. Just a little bit. And again, we're going to go across all these gorgeous colors. And so that white is going to remain bright at the top. And then it's going to blend down until it disappears. And then we're going to hit it with a new section of white, right? So let's get a good fair amount on the brush. Just by getting it in there. Just wiggling it, right? Kind of like we make a, a tree with. Um, Khaled in the comments says, you do more talking than drawing. Yeah, <laughs> DJ Khaled, right? Which is funny because you, you're you not drawing. True, but yeah, the... <laughs> okay, we're going to take this over here. And we're going to go, boom, knock over all these cameras and come up. Stay away from this white area, but into that. Look at that, we're dropping more color. Right around the bottom of that cloud, right? Or the bottom of that mountain, just like that. Dumping it on, I'm gonna switch the brush over because I only use the one corner, so now this corner still has a lot of paint. I'm gonna drop down a little bit, maybe an inch, inch or two, and then as we get closer, these get closer. You know what I mean? Just like that. That's gonna allow these to grow together and these to grow down, right? And let's wash off that old brush. Beat the devil out of it. I wonder what the neighbors are thinking right now. Guys, if you could do me a huge favor and share the live, it does make a massive difference, and we really appreciate it. Oh, we definitely appreciate it. What do you guys think as of right now? If this, the, By the way, if you're just tuning in, tell us where you're watching from, and what's your favorite sandwich? And if you've been watching this whole time, how many... Is this your first Paint With Josh video? Is this your 100th Paint With Josh video? This is actually our 105th uh, live episode on Facebook, which is crazy. 105 episodes, babe. Wow. Me and you hanging out up here for an that's 105 hours of hanging out with you and the, me and you and the people. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. You wouldn't uh, want to do it all at once, right? Richard Trent, I do. Well, I mean, I, I don't. You've got to work, so I don't see you yeah, 105 as, hours straight. Yeah, not as much. Richard Trent says, what is the medium called that Josh is using to be able to paint wet on wet it's not gesso so no 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 what yeah. do i look for so i don't have my my gesso is much it's a much bigger tub you want to get bob ross liquid white or if you don't want to you know get the bob ross brand you can use linseed oil and titanium white or something there's there's some mixture of how you can make your own liquid white i just get this stuff you know what i mean it's it's already made it's the perfect ratio and uh, that you cover your canvas with, like we did in the beginning. What platform was he asking on? Facebook. Oh, on Facebook. Okay, so when this video ends, you'll be able to go back to the beginning. And uh, right before I started the cameras, I covered the entire canvas, and then I touch it, and I show you just about how much you need on there. Hey, by the way, it's Richard Trent's first time watching you paint. Hey, excellent. Thanks for tuning in, Rich. All right, we're going to take this one-inch brush like this, nice and dry, and we're going to come up here and just start to mix it so softly, right? I don't want the white and the pink to disappear all into the same color. We want to have 
bright areas and dark areas and bright areas, different little things, and they start to mix and you start to pull it down, right? Leaving the, the tops white, and then they start to mix and they mix and mix and mix and mix and mix down, right? This guy up here is gonna wanna grow down and touch the top of this. And it's up to you whether or not you wanna let them blend together. If you don't, you need very light touch as it comes down and fills in that area. All right, sometimes you go out across the top. It doesn't, ooh, that, that look, this guy looks like he's a, he looks like he's flexing. Look, it's a little guy for fuzz. You see him? I do. Little head and like two little, two little flexy arms. That's funny. Right, so depending on how many swipes you go outside, you can mess them up. You can do all that, but look, very soft. Kind of mixes down into that color and then poof, we hit it with white again. Mixes into the color, white again, right? And this one, I'm gonna do a mixture, pulling it up into this cloud and down at the same time. So we're gonna go up and then we're gonna go back and then we're gonna go up and then we're gonna go down and then we're gonna go up here and then we're gonna go down and then a down and a down and a down and a down. Not covering everything, not mixing everything. And now you got some really cool looking clouds. Really cool. The more you mix them, the more they'll go away and soften, do all sorts of things. And we'll take our big old two inch brush softly up to the top, up to the top, up to the top, up to the top. Don't want to hit our flexing guy right there. I just want to say how grateful I am that Swerb is still here watching hey, paint. That's awesome. We need to get him in the box so that he can be like, oh, are <laughs> you serious? So we did up to the top and then we're going to go side to side, just like this. So soft. Don't try to hit that mountain. Don't touch the mountain, right? Don't touch the mountain. Bam. Just like that. Very cool. You Don't lying. touch the moon. Are you going to touch the mountain? No, I did not touch the mountain in that time. Okay, let's clean this brush off again. Thank you, Swerve, for uh, hanging out and watching on a Saturday. We love doing this every Saturday. And if you enjoy <laughs> painting, tonight we're going to be doing a, a quiet ASMR where we kind of play soft music through TikTok. And I just come up with scenes. And I, that's when I practice and paint. And so I'm not really teaching you, but I'm going over the scenes and maybe one of those scenes from this weekend will end up as a new tutorial which is what happened to last weekend all right clean off these brushes so where are people watching from do we have any new viewers that commented where they're watching from oh what's up nothing um, i was oh. reorganizing to pick my phone back up oh sorry um I love this little guy up here. We have loads. Flexing. We've got Indiana. Indiana! Rocky Flying Squirrel is watching from Indiana. Awesome. We've got Humboldt County, California. Hey! San Jose. San Jose, wicked. Uh, Southern Illinois. Oh, where's my drink? Oh, good. Right there. Excellent. Arkansas oh. is in the house. Oh. Oh. Minnesota. Mmm. Minnesota. Isn't that where they have those tiny Pepsis? In Minnesota? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Okay. Guys, I got, I went to the doctor and I uh, got my blood drawn. I was a big boy about it. I was like, Yee! and uh, they said I had to, uh, I had to stop, or I had to cut back on my caffeine, right? I used to have like two, two Red Bulls a day. And then I'd have like four or five sodas at night. And, uh, since cutting back to one Red Bull a day and not drinking any soda at night, just having water. I mean, I got a wicked crazy headache the first day, but um, yeah, I've lost like nine pounds just from not drinking soda. Ah, it's freaking awesome. Okay, we're gonna take that blue, but the, 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 the point of the story is when I do get to have that Red Bull, it's like I, I savor it like a filet mignon. <laughs> like, I drink it until it's warm, like small little sips. Because I'm not drinking it to, to stay awake, you know what I mean? I'm not having it as an energy boost. Um, it's just that I love how it tastes. It's amazing. So, Red Bull, sponsor me. What so, are we doing? Yeah, for anyone... No, don't sponsor you. For anyone in the comments, please. if you're interested, please make a drink that tastes like Red Bull that has no caffeine in it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Bam. Nice dark mixture. Look at the difference between that. All right, so this mountain is going to stand out as much closer than that mountain by hey, off in the distance. Hey, babe. Yes, sir. What about Bangladesh? Have we ever had anyone Ooh, we have not had anyone from Bangladesh. 
We have not, really cool. Nottingham, England. We've got Maybe. Hawaii, Israel. Nottingham. That's where Robin Hood is from. Where'd you say? Yeah, I was waiting on Israel. We usually have a few people watching from Israel, um, and uh, uh, or Jordan or Tel Aviv. It's awesome. So. Let's go to our dark color right here. We're going to take the big knife so we can use more paint and more spreading. Right? Get a little bit bigger chunk. Going to show every camera. Babe, on Facebook, let's see. Yes. And on YouTube. Yes. And the tick a -tuck. Yes. All right. So, we're going to take that giant amount of paint just like that. We're going to come screaming up into here. Holy moly. There's a mountain. Let's go even a little bit higher. Oh, yeah. There's a mountain and a half. Maybe it has another peak. Oh, that's a good looking thing right there. Sometimes you, you pop up accidentally and you're like, ooh, I could do a little valley back in here. We could do all sorts of stuff, right? Scrape it off into the bottom of that other. Now it looks like you got those clouds rocking between two different mountain chains. Right? More paint. We didn't remember we scraped all the paint off of this one? This one I want to leave all that paint on and use it by moving it around, smushing it up. Getting it all crazy. And then we can start to build what the mountain's gonna look like. You guys, right. I don't wanna sound like a broken record, but if we can hit that share button, tap that screen, <laughs> drop <laughs> comments, <laughs> uh, that would be absolutely amazing. Does massive things to protect the live on TikTok, sharing Does. it on Facebook and YouTube. Also lets people know that there's a different side to you on Facebook. Yeah, right. Maybe, maybe everything that you post is about your dogs. And suddenly, out of nowhere, there is a tutorial being posted. Right. And, oh, hi. Mm -hmm. Mwah. I love you. I had to give you a kiss. And uh, and people will be like, oh, I maybe. I want another kiss now. Oh. Mm. oh. Kisses. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you know, <laughs> okay, I'm gotta, speaking. Are you sorry, trying gotta, to shut me up? Yeah, go ahead. Are you no, trying to ahead. shut me up? No, go ahead. I think you're trying to shut no, me up. No, go ahead. And then randomly, along Sally's feed, outside of all of her dogs, she's like, what is this? This is an oil painter. I didn't know it. Sally was into oil painting, and yeah, right. that person's into oil painting. Now you've struck a whole new conversation. Yeah, now you guys have something to talk about. Because nobody knew that you were into oil painting. So please go ahead and share on whatever platform you're on. Drop us a comment. Definitely. Tap that screen if you can. Facebook, tap those little emojis. And you remember, know. ladies, remember, I know it's like 70% of you are ladies. So if you like this face, hit the share button for us, please. Oh, she's giving me the evil eye. That was like, <laughs> that was like Gouda. Super cheesy. Was it super cheesy? That was super cheesy. Baby. I am super cheese. Just call me cheese. Call you, <laughs> call you Josh Cheese. <laughs> okay, we're going to take our one inch brush and get back to painting, right? Too much talking, not enough painting. Who's that girl in the background? Yeah, right. Why is there green on this brush? What the heck happened? Not gonna wash the dang thing. I'm not using... Where did using... you get green from? I, it's on my palette somewhere, but I don't remember... Touching it. Okay. I am not using green in this painting, therefore green cannot be on there. And I told you guys I was the only using five tools. Even though I have three two-inch brushes and two one-inch brushes, I'm only using one each. Just like you guys. Okay, so the same amount of time should surpass. And uh, is anybody painting along with us today? I don't know. If you are painting along, please hit that. Uh, please tap it in the comments. I am painting too. Yeah. A lot of times we get people that paint along with us, um, and you know, most of the time you got to see what I'm doing first. Sometimes they're like, "Oh, I don't want to paint that." Uh -huh. Oh, excuse oh. me, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Oh. What? Riley said the girl in the background is the most beautiful, wonderful friend. She is. Oh. I agree. Okay, let's take this one-inch brush. We're gonna come up here, slow, long strokes. Right? You can always feed it back and, and get rid of all that stuff. Oh, uh, Greg Jeannie Hollis is painting with you. Hey, Greg! Suburban Art League is painting too, and so is Gail Gorman. Awesome! Well, I'll take you know I'll try to go a little slower for you guys then, right? So we'll stay in here, another swipe to the side, and then maybe well, again we got to leave different angles. It's not all just so I see so many mountains, even from like you know dudes I respect that all go down the same way. The same slope, it looks the same every single time. And the people in the know know who I'm talking about. Let's see. So give it different little angles. Make it 3D. Right? Maybe come down from up here and we kind of feed that in. Maybe a little valley back here, I don't know. Right? And then maybe it went down this way. Who knows? You but switch it. Change it up. Maybe this guy we take and we go push him down in front of everything else. 
send this little bit off this way, but then maybe there was another section that came back and around and whizzed over different angles, different things. Right? Don't pull it all the way to the edge. Right? You gotta leave room for clouds. So very soft, and if you have too much, let's say we have too much paint, right? If you got too much paint, let's try something, right? We'll take a, a thing. I don't have too much paint, but let's say you do. Take a, a paper towel and push it back against that paint in the same angles that we're making our mountain with, right? And we can make a mountain with this paper towel, babe. Should I do that? I could seriously make a mountain with a paper towel. Can you make a mountain with a paper towel? I'm pretty sure. Try it. Why not? I could do it, right? Swipe it down like that. This proves you don't need the right tools. You can literally paint a mountain with a bit of paper towel. Right? You can change what it looks like over your life. Same thing. It's, it's all about you know what you do. I don't like this though. Maybe this guy kind of fed back in front of him. Right? And then went down this way. Just a little ridge, some sort of something back there. All right, let's throw our brush. Let's throw our brush away. <laughs> now I want to knock all the dark paint off of that brush because there was a little bit too much paint up there. All right, so we use the old paper towel trick. Just kind of cool. People like the paper towel trick. I mean, I literally made it up. I've never done that before, but you know, show you what we do. So very lightly again, pulling and then coming away from the canvas so we don't drag it too far. And we'll stay with this little paper towel ridge that we created, softening it. Right, all of our snow will be on that side, all lit up, and we'll have shadows back here. Maybe we'll come down. We do all sorts of stuff. We can change it up with our with our knife once we get there, right? Very softly mixing the bottom, just like that. Again, don't want to have too much paint on the brush. Look, we didn't even barely pick up any paint. It's fantastic. Now, remember I told you you could feed this guy back? Pull from the edge, all the way. All the, hitting the edge every time. Sliding it back in, back up. Now we're coming over from here. See how every time you drop, you leave a little bit on your canvas over there? That's why you come from the edge. That way you're hitting back here and not dumping a little piece. Right? Does that make sense to everybody? There we go. Oh, save this pink area in between. Oh, it's fantastic. Woo, it's fantastic. Okay. Feeding it up. Amazing. All right, you guys ready for some highlights? Are they ready, babe? I think they're ready. Are they ready? How many people we got watching anyway? Let's go. Come on, guys, tap that screen on TikTok. Do you keep zooming out? No, babe. I, I thought I zoomed in, yeah, and then I'd I come back. Right, and you can't see one side of the canvas. I'm looking on the phone. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah, Okay. Sorry. All right, let's get a little bit of blue, right? Darken up our bluer pile, maybe a little bit more. This mountain's a little bit further away from our light source. We're gonna grab our white, brighten this up a little bit, all right? Don't wanna have too much blue there. Just like that. Why don't we scrape all that guy up? Bring him up here. You can see it's gonna be a brighter color. Again, not pure white, because we're saving our pure white for the very front, the very bottom of the canvas, right? Oh. So we're going to come over here, scrape. No, let's not do the white first. Let's come over and grab our blue first. Mix this guy up a little bit more so it's a little bit darker color, because this mountain's closer. It needs to be darker and brighter. Darker and brighter than it was before. Scrape up the blue. Come up here. Little things. Nothing too crazy. Right, little bits, little things that are dropping off the knife and just sticking to the canvas. Oh my goodness, Shay's here too. Shay and Swerving in the house. Hey, thanks guys for watching. Oh my goodness. A little bit more blue. Come back. Maybe we feed this guy off to the side, just using the corner. See, and then I finally touched the whole rest of the knife. I was trying to keep it angled to just use the corner. But it's okay. Add a little bit of shadow back in here too. Why not? Why not? Right? You can start to see where all that light is going to be with that negative space. A little bit more of the blue, back side of this guy, just the tip corner, and then start to use the whole knife, right? And if you have too much, wipe your knife off, scrape it up. Look, it's, it's about gone already, right? And then maybe you just had that little bit of texture in there. 
you can have more texture in this side than this side, right? This one's further away. This guy's a little bit closer. And then the mountain down here around the bottom is going to be the closest. So, you know what we need to do, though, is maybe make him a bit longer? No, we, no we're good. We're good right there. He's good. He's good where he's at. I forgot what the painting looks like. I took it down to work, and now I, I don't have it. So, hard to remember what I did after it was like seven paintings ago. Okay, let's grab a little bit of that white like we were talking about before. Well, it's kind of grayish. A little bit like that. I don't want to hit. I always grab too much for the beginning, right? Let's try not to hit my glove. Here we go. Grab this out. Now, you just need a little bit for the top because you don't want to dump too much up here. Remember to leave shadows, leave little spaces, leave gaps, leave dark areas like that. Right? Don't have to cover every single piece. Start to change it. Whatever falls off the knife is what's going to fall off the knife. Don't force it in there. Long strokes like that, too. Maybe this guy, we started to go up this way. There's a little thing going up the side of the hill, right? They're all changing, all different. Let it fall down, grow up. Where does your mountain live? Right? What is happening? Where is it mixing? Where are your shadows? What's happening in your mountain? Because it may not look like my mountain. How could it? How could it, it possibly? It doesn't have to. Yeah, but how could it possibly look exactly the same, right? We're doing different things. How could we each be doing the same exact thing? It's just not feasible. So don't worry if it looks a little bit different. And if you want a little cool little shadow in there, like a little soft little glacial shadow, a little bit of blue. Then we come in, we'll feed the white right underneath. Maybe our little ridge came out a little bit more. Starts to knead up with itself. And grow down. Right, maybe this guy up here came out a little bit more over there. Right, all depends. That's why we put our shadows down first. And then you can decide what you want your mountain to look like. And then if you need to, you come back in. And you change it. And you add. All depends on your angles, though trying to scrape up the last bit of this white. There we go. Mixing it down, letting it flow down. Flow down, like Josh says. Dang. Just like that. Don't even need a whole lot of snow back here on the tip top of this thing. We do, though, need a few little bits of real dark area. So take that, our, our black mix, and put that right along the edges, maybe a little bit back there. And now we're just going to start to mix it, just hitting it very lightly, pulling it down until it starts to look how I want it to look. Don't try to push too hard. Very soft, right? Now you got all these cool little dark areas that you can then mix in and extend our blue, letting them grow and changing it up. Right? It's down that way. I want it to go all the way to the edge, though. That's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna take our brush. Hi, baby. Hi, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. So oh, I'm good. Lemon's like laying down on the floor asleep. <laughs> I'm not asleep. <laughs> not yet. I might be. Hold on, I'm taking my glasses off. Now uh oh, now, we're now gonna, the sleepy time we, is coming. We'll give you a little pillow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we've got a paint with Josh pillow in here you can rest we your do. head on. We do. Okay, let's get our two inch brush. And we're gonna. That's always a bad transition. We should do it like this. Let's get our two inch brush. <laughs> Let's grab our two-inch brush, right? And then you have to flip and then come up here. There was a good transition right there. Right? Softly swiping up. By the way, if you're interested in a paint with Josh pillow, which are very incredibly cool. fluffy, you can get one by going to paintwithjosh.com. They are very cool. Okay, so we did our little swipey swipies. Swipey swipey. Paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Yeah, but you can also get them on your website. True. In those little blue areas, remember how we came down this way? So we have to go up that way. Staying very light, so softly touching. Not trying to move the paint or do anything. And then into our blue and black, we got to go from this other side. Just lightening it, just blurring it a little bit. Right? Take some of that black. It didn't really mix in well enough. There we go. Pull it down off the edge. You get this cool little ridge. Remember, guys, start coming up with names. What do you want to name this painting? 
The, the original one is called Island of the, uh, Islands of the Gods. So what do you want to name this painting? Come up with your names, and at the end of the show, you guys get to name it, and I'll choose from one of your names. So, again with that two-inch brush, haven't really washed it. We'll start to tap to create our little bit of fog, right? Coming up into the mountain, pulling it down. See that? We took the white, came up, grabbed it a little, couple little bits, dropped it down. So now we'll come under that and up in maybe into that blue. Bring that section down. And maybe over here, we'll bring this section down, right? Now our fog is at all these different levels. It's not just a straight shot across. We're going to come grab this blue and black and do the same thing. Just leaving little differences up and down, up and down. What do you want to leave showing in yours, right? Not dragging a whole lot of paint because then it's going to be harder to put more layers on if we have too much, right? We'll take that same brush, see if we can get the transition good. Same brush like this, come back, swipe it up. Same angles, this is the last swipe. Remember I told you we do everything three times? This is the last swipey swipes. We already have like some name that. suggestions. Perfect. Well, let's save them, uh, you know, remember them, write them in the comments, but also remember them because we're going to ask for them again later. I'll save them. But otherwise, they'll get lost in translation. Very cool. That's life, a cool little one. life is fun on YouTube says, are you using, are you going off of a photo? No, uh, well, I, so what I'd like to do is on Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night, I paint, I just freestyle paint to soft music on TikTok. And that's how I come up with my tutorials for the week that you see on YouTube in my the best tutorial section, right? So we did this one last week, wasn't looking at anything, um, and created a three mountain painting with clouds all in between them. And we did it live on TikTok. There's even a few, I think there's a time lapse of it on my TikTok. And then people were asking, I, I posted the pictures to Facebook and said, which one of my four paintings or five paintings I did over the weekend would you guys want to see as a tutorial? And a lot of people said, Islands of the Gods. So this week, I didn't really plan anything like normal. And I said, oh, well, people said they wanted to see this, so we'll give them a tutorial on painting this one. So let's see. Now, what was that? Oh, we, got, we did all this. We washed the brush. Did we wash the brush? Who knows? Get all flabbergasted. William is here. Oh, my. I had a scratch on my belly. All I saw was skin. That's it. So no, there we go. No skin. Very nice and soft. Who'd you say was here? William. William from Facebook? The individual who's looking at taking Yeah, pictures. William. And uh, William is a dedicated painter, okay? William lives in Texas, and he is willing to drive to Las Vegas 19 hours, come stay at, the, at a hotel, and uh, take a one-on-one -on -one class with me, which is going to be amazing. We're doing it in March. So let's grab it. We don't actually don't even need that gonna be awesome welcome William William's got he's been painting for like nine months he said and uh, he really wants to get serious about it and so he's gonna make the trip and uh, we're gonna we're gonna teach him how to paint it's gonna be awesome or get better anyway don't, so we're gonna, don't say we well me yeah I was <laughs> gonna say not me so we're gonna take that white paint like this and we're gonna come back in should we come from this side or should we come from this side we need to make them both so let's just come from over here we're gonna take the white paint we're gonna come in again start it's like you're writing in cursive I've been doing these clouds recently, and I just love them. It's literally like you're writing in a in cursive. That's the, the easiest way to explain how I've been doing it. So come back, because they need to be a little bit brighter. All right, so this guy again, I'm gonna come up. Differences, bright areas, dark areas. Maybe you came up into the cloud, or up into the mountain on that one, up and over into here, just making it a mess, right? That's all you really need, because that oil paint is going to blend and soften down. And all in here, we don't want to have all of those little differences go away. I don't want them to all become the same color. I'm going to take the brush, come over here, very softly. Oh my, so soft. See how we missed areas over here, leaving some areas dark, some areas light. Love it. Ooh, fantastic. Sometimes more pressure, sometimes less pressure. Less harder. Less harder. If you think I'm an idiot, <laughs> tap the screen. That's my favorite TikTok, but it wasn't very popular. Nobody, nobody watched it until that point. 
I was making a video and uh, I was like, oh, and it come up here and touch it softer or harder or, or no, I said harder or less harder. And then I was like, who says less harder? <laughs> I was like, this guy, tap the screen if you think I'm an idiot. <laughs> it was pretty funny. By the way, anyone in the room, if you are interested in purchasing this painting, even before it is named, you just love it that much, you can head over to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Search the word TikTok. You'll see something in there that says the 28th of, de of January. And, and that'll be uh, this painting. That will be this painting if you are interested. It'll be wicked. Okay, let's take our brush over here. Very lightly. Swiping up. Not trying to move the paint. Just trying to go over it enough to have it soften a little bit. Right? Come back. Swipe to the side. Don't hit the mountain. You don't have to touch all of your thick details at the top. Right, just very lightly. It's like a little wind blowing off around the mountains. That was very cool. Very cool. Tickles on his feet. Just tickled London's feet. And that's looking great on YouTube. Fantastic. It looks great in real life, in case anyone's wondering. Fantastic. Okay. Now there's one little area right here, right, as our mountain goes down. You can kind of see. It's up to you whether or not you cover that. I kind of like it because it gives the indication that the mountain maybe comes down or wraps around into our next little peak that's going to be down here, right? So I don't want to go too high up. I'm not trying to cover all these mountains from the whole side and make it real close. I'm trying to have like a, like a little bird's eye view on this guy. So now we've used all these different colors, right? We, we, we used our blue, black, and crimson. <laughs> blue, crimson, and black, and our white to make this lighter color. Then we made our blue, crimson, and black to make this darker color. And now for this mountain in the front, I'm gonna just use blue and black. I mean, we could get, we, I need to clean this up. I'm not using the red, I just need to get it out of the way. So just blue and black, and that'll be a darker color even than our dark purple up here, right? Because we took out that crimsony bit. A nice cold blue and black mountain down here. Maybe it doesn't get a lot of sun. All right, now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna scrape it up. Ooh, that's too much. We don't need that much, Josh. There we go, a little bit. And who knows, maybe off over here. It's like these little soft, soft little guys, very cool. I love doing these little valleys in between. And if you feed them in with your with your brush or your knife, right, you can start to see them grow. And then you can decide what you want it to look like. And right there, that guy looks cool. Maybe we add another little bigger peak up here. Make sure we grab from the right color pile, since all these dark colors look the same. And maybe that guy had that little valley back in there. And then, who knows, there was like another little swipe off to the side, right? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Now, very light pressure with your brush. Otherwise, it's really going to want to grow. You mean less hard? Less hard down yep. here. Tap Again, the screen if you think Josh is an idiot. We have, we have to leave room for our clouds to fill in, so don't go down too far. Right? Very lightly pulling it out. Starting to turn. We got our little ridge over here, just so lightly though. Right, maybe that guy was over there. Different poles over here, and then we went that way. Right, and we had that bit that was down in here. So now we start to shape it and start to make it 3D. Unlike some, uh, you know, some people. Some people is. Some people. Okay, let's go. Actually, I want to raise the tip of this other one over here. Not the roof, but the tip. Raise the roof! Right, if we come down and we came up over there. There we go, I think that'll look a little bit better. Well, Josh is making a more pointy mountain. It was the want same to, amount of pointy. I want, want to let you know that tonight, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Josh goes live with Silent Lives. When he says silent, he means he is silent. Yeah. There is gentle music in the background, the sound of the palette and the brush and the knife. And uh, again, you get to name that painting as well, uh, but it is incredibly relaxing, and I can only last, honestly, about 17 minutes, and I'm just <laughs> It's true. 
So if you're looking for a beautiful way to relax on a Saturday evening, I greatly advise tuning in to Paint with Josh K on TikTok and listening to that gentle, soothing sounds. Soothing sounds. DJ Paint Very with Josh. Very <laughs> Okay. Let's come in over here. Maybe take this guy so softly, though. Right, we're gonna feed him up, and then we're gonna feed this guy back, make our little valley. Ooh, that's gorgeous back there. Man, that's cool. Stay along our little ridge. <laughs> Shay said, I can go. I have fallen asleep twice now. <laughs> well, thank you. Look at how much detail we had just by not touching that bit of paint. And if we can stay along those little ridges and rocks and do all those cool little things, it's gonna be neat. Now remember, pushing a little bit hard. Look at how much my bristles are bending to pull it, and there wasn't a whole lot of paint. All right, I'm gonna pull it this way, just because I want mine to stretch out a little bit more. Let me grab the top, pull him out, and as I'm coming out here, again, I'm pulling away from the canvas so I don't get too much paint over there. Not too much at all. What's going to be in the light? What's going to be in the shadow? All of this is going to be in the shadow, so I want it to be a little bit darker. Let's use a little bit more of that darker paint. Right, feed it in. I was going that way, and then we had our little ridge. This, that, and the other, but I want our little shadowy side to be a little bit darker. And I'm not just pulling straight down, right? I'm changing my angles, giving it a little, a little J flip at the end, right? What do you want yours to look like? That's the question. If you pull it straight down, it's going to look like you pulled it straight down. Okay, let's go in for round one of our tappy taps. Tap, this tap, is... tap, 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 tap the screen, guys. Tap, 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 <laughs> tap, tap, tap the screen, guys. This is when we're going to drag all of this gray color and cover up all of our pink, right? That's why we don't need a whole lot. It's going to mix in and become part of that pink. Now, we see, we turn the brush and we start going this way with just the tip. I'm not using the rest of the bristles. Look, they're way down here. Just the corner of the brush, top corner. Swevin says it reminds me of the Misty Mountains from Lord of the Rings. Yes! Ed and Muil. Let's, uh, let's go back here. Oh, I like that, guys. So uh, that little bit of gray, we're swiping up. Swerve wants to know if you need a, hip, uh, a hype man. A hype man? Yeah, Swerve is a phenomenal hype man. It's true. Let me uh, let me get a little bit further done into it before we bring him on. But I'll definitely okay. have him up in. Yeah, definitely. Let me get all. I'll get to the part where people are finished with the painting, and then when we mess around, definitely I want to bring him in. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Let's take that blue, because a lot of people on the other platforms they don't know and they don't understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Let's go into here and the blue and the white. And just make it a little bit darker. See, every time we're making it darker for our shadows and brighter for our highlights. Even darker, give me that blue. And a little bit of our black or our blue and black to really deepen up those shadows, turn them into that deep darkness. Look at that. That darkness that we all have inside, right? Now, all of our shadows are on the one side, so I'm gonna scrape up some of that. Don't wanna have too much at the top, Josh. Listen to yourself. I'm gonna go along the edge. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that deep dark blue back in there. You almost can't even see it. It's so, there we go. So dark shadowy down here. All right, the back side, it's feeding down in. It's going back into those little, that little valley that we talked about, right? Back in here, over here, and then the back side. Just scraping it down. Letting that blue go down. Ooh, look at that, that's a cool looking mountain. Now, we're gonna come over here. Can you explain to us, babe, who Swervin is, and then we'll bring him up? Of course, Swervin is a, an individual who is incredibly supportive of both my candle business and your painting business. Oh, speaking of which, just real quick, thelondoncandleco.etsy.com. just switched my account into my other account. Oh, no! Silly purposes. There we go. Okay, now this is basically pure white, right? I'm going to grab a small, small, small bit of that blue, just so it's not pure. Mix it up. But Swerven is a phenomenal human being in general. He does a uh, remarkable amount of things for veterans in his local area, as well as countrywide, running fundraisers 
Uh, he is also a huge supporter of women's rights, human rights, um, and on a monthly basis paints his nails for the most deserving causes That's cool. that are unheard of in the scheme of... Um, Some that, like the ones that aren't as popular. Correct. Um, so to, I believe to bring awareness to those ones. Yes, I believe that um, he's nails, and I'm sure he'll talk about him when we when we pull him up. I don't want to, I don't want to miss them, but I believe one hand is the Red Cross, and the other is Cervical Cancer this month, and then he has plans for uh, Black History Month, which is next month. Um, to awesome. do, uh, I'm just giving away all of his secrets. Yeah, right. Let him, let him talk. He's doing something to empower the black community, which is fantastic in my opinion. Awesome. Okay, well, let's bring him up so he can be my hype man and, and tell me how awesome it looks. And right. I want to hear his. Bring him up right now? Yeah. Swerve, you ready? So, for everyone else, this is Swerving, the, the voice that you're going to hear. He's on TikTok, and uh, we're, we're simulcasting to three different places. So. He's going to come up. He, he makes the most funny kind of uh, reaction noises to, like, my, my little swipes is what I'm assuming. And, <laughs> hey, there he is. There's his voice. So it might be entertaining to listen to his kind of kind of uh, commentary. His right? Like, actually, let's just let Swerve commentate. Like, yeah. Okay, I'll just, just come into Joshua, my work. First of all, let, let me just say it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Well, yeah, I've yeah, I've I've seen your face many times. I because uh, I'm over, I'm looking, I'm constantly looking over London's shoulder. <laughs> no, the uh, but yeah, I've seen what you look like definitely. I have I have heard a lot about you, but I've never actually gotten to talk to you personally. So, oh, God, nice uh, to this, meet you. This for me is a real treat. Well, thank you. So I stop I stopped listening for a moment. I had to turn it down, and I got my mother on Facetime. Right. And I put my camera, my Facetime camera, in front of your painting. And she said, who's doing that? <laughs> I said, well, a friend of mine, her husband, is doing this live on TikTok right now. That's awesome. And so she, my mother may actually be in this room already. Hey, that'd be cool. Um, that'd she's be not cool. very technically savvy, but I gave her the name. Right. But uh, she goes, her first question to me, she said, that looks really nice. <laughs> Does he have an afro? No, I do. Actually, you know what? Because people ask all the time. People ask me all the go. time. Hang on. Here we go. I've got a white. I mean, this is what my hair looks like. I've, I've had a beanie on all day, but let's see. But for the purposes of Halloween yeah. and the 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 representation of Bob Ross. Oh, hang on. No, it, it, it looks it looks great, man. It really does. I was sitting here, like I got here a few minutes after you started, so I didn't see how you prepped the canvas, right? But there we go. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, I don't want to get it in the paint. We need to but get yeah. you a white collared shirt. Just minute. just go hold get on, changed gotta, real quick, on, babe. Hold on, I gotta show my wife this. You gotta <laughs> screenshot it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Look. It's, it's gorgeous. Where's my pick? Like this. He put on the wig. Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now let's get painting before we lose everybody on all the other platforms. <laughs> like, like I said, I didn't I didn't see I'm keeping it on. when you were prepping the canvas, right? Yeah. And when you put that first mountain in there, I said, all right, I think he might be going for a 3D kind of motif. Right. And then you started the outline for the second mountain. And then when the third mountain popped up, the one down at the bottom, yeah, I thought to myself, this looks just like the drawing that I saw for the Misty Mountains, the storyboard that they did for Lord of the Rings. Yeah, right. What if the little beacons are on the top? They're like, light the beacons! <laughs> well, those... Those would have been the beacons of Amadine. The yes. Misty Mountains is when they had to uh, when they first set out on their quest. True. And they ended up going into the uh, oh, into the door city. But no, man, it looks it looks great. Thank Every you. time uh, when you started doing your little tap thing, I was sitting here tap a tap a tap a right. Tap a tap a tap a. Oh, that's funny. And then when you get really good at it, you you learn how you can hold your phone. With both hands and just work your thumbs like a video game. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I do. Yeah. That's and, funny. Yeah, like two hundred likes in just a few seconds. I do it with my no. with my index fingers like this. It looks amazing, man. It really does, and and that's a uh, that's a talent that I'm pretty sure I do not have. Yeah. I don't have it. I've well, been watching a, him for four years. I still can't paint this. It's about to look better, right? We're gonna grab up some white. Okay, grab some white. Here I'm we gonna, go. I'm gonna step out for. 
Are There's you gonna... too many voices. I'm going to step out. Got I'll it. be right back. Okay. We got right here a little bit of white. We're going to come up on the edge on all of our brightnesses on this side over here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. It just falls off, right? I'm not trying to push it hard. I'm not trying to scrape the knife. Just whatever gets stuck to the canvas. Maybe come out a little bit more in some areas. Make it different. Stay along our edge. Right? People hate when I make that sound. They're like, you're copying Bob Ross. They go, dude, he made the perfect sounds for painting. Sorry. Like, yeah. what do you want me to do? Like, you, get, you get painting with music. Yeah. If you got, if you, if, but if it's a, I'm like the, the the sound just comes out of my my mouth. I don't purposely do it. It just comes out. Okay, a little bit more wide up on the knife. And we're gonna swipe it down in this other angle, right? Pushing it like a little smiley face, matching it up over here. And get the little light coming off the edge. And that way that you have so cool. you have depth, right? Josh, did you like? Is this a natural talent that you've always had, or so have you in, developed it over the years, or yeah? So anybody watching on TikTok or Facebook, both of my uh, my pinned video on TikTok, my third pinned video is my story of how I got into painting, uh, and it's pinned to the top of my Facebook page, so you guys can see it over there as well. Um, but my we lost London's mom. Uh, I, I was never artistic ever, right? I didn't draw, I couldn't draw a mountain. I couldn't draw a tree with a pencil. I still can't. If you give me a pencil today, I still can't draw a tree. Uh, and so we lost London's mom and I got really sad. And uh, I would go outside and, you know, marijuana is legal in Las Vegas. So I would medicate and, and I would watch Bob Ross. And, uh, you know, he would always say anybody can do it. And you just got to have the want to do it and the will and this, that, and the other. And so I said, all right, I, you know, it, it, it brought me relief from the sadness I was feeling. And I told, told London, you know, let's get the paints. Let's see and uh, see what happens. You know what I mean? So we ordered the stuff and it showed up on April 12th is my paint anniversary uh, of 2019. It was my very first painting. And I, it really, like, it, it dropped out of the brush so easily because I had been watching Bob for, for months, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'd been watching, and then when I knew that I was going to get his paints, I started studying what he was doing. I would study how he held the, the knife, what angles he would turn, what he, like, how he would twist the thing, you know, like, actually studying it. And uh, right. not just watching him paint it and trying it, watching him and looking at all the things that he never told us because he didn't have time, right? It was 24 minutes and his show was over like that. So he didn't have time yeah. to tell you all the reasons and they didn't want to tell you all the reasons. He wants you to come learn to paint from him, right? So when I started doing it, I was like, I'm going to tell people everything that I've struggled with and that I learned from, you know, studying him. And maybe that might help people make it easier, right? It's all about making it, making it easier. If it's, if it's hard, you're not going to want to do it. So I try to show you the easy ways to get cool little techniques and cool looks by doing, you know, something so simple as taking a little bit of blue paint and pulling it off to the side. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not a hard motion to do. It's not a hard thing to recreate. Um, and that's what I like to do. Motion too. I like, like wouldn't you, here's what I think is beautiful about this, what you, what you do here. Like, let's go back to the first mountain that you painted up in the top. Yeah. If I just look at that one, watching you put the knife to the canvas and the different brushes you use, it just came like, it just came so naturally and easy. Right. You know what I mean? Like, very little effort on your part to bring all of this together. And that is what, that's why I've been sitting here for like the past hour um, just watching. And then my mother called. I was like, oh, mom, you're not going to believe this. And, um, I showed her what you were doing. She goes, and that's what she asked, does he have an afro? I said, no, he doesn't <laughs> have an afro. I do now. Uh, but, um, but no, she was impressed. She was looking at it. She goes, that's, that's pretty good. Thank you. Appreciate so that. So she, she asked me if, if uh, there was some place she could buy, she could buy one of those. Yes, definitely. So I said, yep. I gave her your Etsy address. You're oh, awesome. She was writing it down, so. You are awesome. If, if you see an order come through for Watertown, New York, that's my mother. Hey, that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep an eye out. I've sold, like, I think five or six to New York so far. Ooh, you know what would be cool, guys? 
I could just like just from looking at it, I can see what if the what if there was a little flat ridge right there, like just a little bit, right? You take a little bit of white, and just because I looked back at the camera and saw that maybe the snow might sit on that little flat area, now it's even more depth in your painting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just from adding one little thing, just about as wide as the knife, an eighth of an inch of paint, and now you got this little ridge. Man, it's so cool. That's awesome, man. Like sometimes I step back and I go, wow, like how did it, who am I? How did I paint that? You know what I mean? Because I, I just let it flow. I don't have a plan, right? And anytime I take the dark, I always want to go up to the closest part. Well, even, even the fact that you, like, you know, as you're, as you're creating one of these paintings, here's what I love about the creative process. When I see people doing stuff like this, you got your, you got your basic paints on your, uh, on your palette. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, which colors to mix, how to spread them out. Yeah. To I've get only got, paint that you're looking for. I've only got five yeah. colors today. Yeah. And it, the brush strokes, the angles, I mean, it just... It just looks amazing, man. It really does. Thank you. I always say it's all about the angles, right? Because if I took this this bit of shadow and I pulled it the same direction as the highlights, it's going to ruin the look of the mountain, right? It's all about how you're, what direction you're going down, right? How yeah, the deep and, Yeah, it's all about it. And I liken it to a clock, right? Somebody <laughs> said the other day, oh my God, thank you for, for saying that thing about a clock. I, it's really fixed my perspective, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll show you, if we do it right here, we're going we're gonna to soften all this paint. And instead of doing it, you know, I'm not going to do it straight up in all directions because this mountain is not a straight up cliff. So we're going to start on the edge, and then by the time we get over here, it's just like a clock. So from about 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock is how we're going to work, right? Tick tock, tick tock. We're going to start to swipe up like this. And as we go, now you can see up my brush is moving. It's it's turning. Watch the handle, right? Handle starts out pointing at me. Now it's kind of pointing at my face. Now it's kind of pointing at my fro. Now it's kind of pointing at the ceiling because I'm right here, right? right. Now I'm going to rotate, and I'm going to start doing this. And then we're going to go, and it's going to start pointing further and further this way as my brush gets up higher over here. And you keep the same symmetry throughout the entire landscape. Right. It's just gorgeous, man. Thank it's you. It's gorgeous. All about a clock. That's the easiest way for me to explain it is think of it like a clock. If you're at 6 o'clock and you pull it to 3 o'clock, it's not going to look like 6 o'clock anymore, right? It's going to be all jacked up. There we go. And again, you don't even have to fill it all the way down to the canvas. We're going to put clouds into this one anyway, but you don't have to do it. And remember, guys, if you do want to buy this painting, it's cheaper if you buy it during the show. If you go to my Etsy store, paintwithjosh.com, uh, it's $180 for this painting at 25% off of that, right? So I hope London at least has... London, did you put it in the 25% off sale? I hope so. Uh, <laughs> if not, she can fix it real quick before anybody gets it. But the um, uh, it's 180 bucks to 25% off that, and free shipping, it'll get to you, it comes with tracking, all that stuff. And uh, if you wait until I put it in the store... It goes up to 256, and then it'll be 25% off of that. So if you get it now, if you buy it during the show, you're going to save like 40 or 50 dollars. We always try to get you to do that. And that way, I don't even have to go take the time to list it on Etsy, right? It's a, I got so much thing. There's so many things I got to do, and then after this, I got to take photos. I got to post it on Facebook. I got to put all the links out. I got to get it into all the groups. I got to market it. Got to get it out there so everyone else wants to paint it. And then uh, try to sell it. Try to get. Uh, and then I got to make TikToks out of this live stream, of all the little different things that we did. I'm, there's never a point when I'm not doing doing something, something with painting. <laughs> yeah. And then I still have a full time job. So. All right. Let me well, get the littlest know, bit of light. I know I got hooked on London's candle wax porn the other day. Oh, those are so much fun. And. Uh, Man, when she did that, I was just floored. I was, like I told her, I was going to go on my live and just be petty as all get out. But <laughs> after just sitting there and watching watching her work for an hour, I just let it all go. It was... I said, you could not giving any more fire or any more oxygen to Ooh, this I, fire. I hear people in the Etsy store favoriting things. Somebody named Mary is over there favoriting something. Or lots of things, anyway. Okay. Let's put this last bit of cloud in, right? We don't have much white paint left, which is okay, because we don't need to make a whole giant amount of cloud. Can you guys hear all those Etsy notifications? 
That burr, burr, burr. Yeah, that's that noise. That's somebody liking things in my Etsy store. And then if it goes ching, then we know I made a sale. Cool. My goodness. <laughs> Should I turn them off? I don't even know. That would just take too much time. Okay, let's. Maybe I'll just talk louder over the Etsy notifications. All right, let's come in here with this white, and we'll start from this side. Again, making that that cursive writing. Right, we're not even gonna go all the way across. Cursive writing. Leave about two inches. Drop another little bit, and all it does is just gonna mix in together. Right. And grab up a little bit more white, just a little bit more, the last of it that we have, and come down here. It actually was a perfect painting today because I didn't use, I didn't need to get more white out of the box, right? That's always a good day. Now, just that, mat, right? It looks like a mess. You're like, I wouldn't buy that. That's not a cloud. Oh, it absolutely is. It absolutely is. Okay? Remember, guys, if you're watching on YouTube, give me that thumbs up. If you're watching on Facebook, better be tapping. And the guys on TikTok, we got to 180,000 taps during one live. That's my, my life to be. All right, so tap that screen, guys. We come in with our one-inch brush, grab the top, and start working it down very lightly. See how fast it wants to grow? And I barely even touched it. Just so light. Mixing it in with that gray color, but trying not to cover all the gray, right? We're leaving some of that gray around the bottom. You got to have shadows in your clouds. Can't let it now, all mix. Let me this, Josh. This is probably a dumb question. What's up? Okay. No dumb questions. The the palette. When it's time for you to clean it, do you just stick that in the dishwasher or rinse it off with a hose? Like this thing right here. Yeah. I'll show you when we get done. We're almost. I, I, we're going to be done in like three okay. minutes. And I'll show you. I scrape it up and then I use. Uh, I'll show you what I do. Okay. okay. We're going to come in here with the. I just with, have any questions when it comes to stuff that I've never seen the process right? before? Right. No. Yeah. And, and a lot of times in the videos, I'll show. Because people ask, how do you get the canvas wet, you know, with that liquid white, which I skipped. I, I did it before I turned the cameras on today, but sometimes I'll show how I prep it from dead straight, you know, dry canvas, and then we go. And then sometimes people are scrolling through that anyway, because the majority of people already know how to get it wet. Once you've done it once or twice, you know about how much to use and what you need to do. And so we skip that in a lot of videos, but I like to mix it up. And then we'll show people how to clean up, and, and sometimes we don't show you when we clean up. So... It all depends. Let's grab that one inch brush over here. We're gonna take it and just lightly, right? It's gonna wanna mix in with that blue and mix in with that gray. Ooh, try not to grab all the bits of white. If we don't touch a lot of them, they'll stay very bright, right? You don't want them to mix in with all the colors, so don't push too hard. Ooh, I like that guy. He's like just a little floater kind of stuck away from the thing against that darker color. That's very cool. Letting it grow down. Now look, we're gonna grab up that other bit. And just mix it in, pushing harder if you need to, right? And there's going... so much depth. Thank you. The... There's just so much depth in there. Like, I don't know. I could look at each peak on each one of those mountains and and come up with a different story about each one. Right. You know, and that's that's because you have the depth in there. The symmetry is perfect, and uh, it just it looks like a natural mountaintop landscape that any Thank one of you. us could fly over at any given time in our lives. Right, you know? look, look down and see that, that'd be wicked. All right, now. I can imagine looking down and seeing that and be like, holy hell, I've seen this before. Yeah, right? Well, I, I, I don't know where, you know, since I make all these paintings up, I don't know where they're coming from. Have I seen this out the, the window of a plane? Have I seen it in a movie? Have I seen it somewhere and just subliminally it just comes out? Because, again, in the original one, it looks similar. The mountain in the front was a little bit different. The mountain on the side, a little bit different. I mean, everything's different. I can't redo it perfectly, especially without even looking at the photo, because it's down at work. Um, but, yeah, it's, you know, have I seen this subliminally in a dream? Like, it, you know, and it just... Josh, how great would it be if you did fly over Mountain Ridge someday, and all of a sudden you looked down, and there was a sign there that said Josh was here? Yeah, right? <laughs> that would be cool. I always say, like, the, you know, the painting comes from somewhere else. I talked about how I got into it and how we lost London's mom. And uh, I'm going to represent London's mom in this painting right here. We do this a lot of times. And uh, sometimes I get flack for putting a quote-unquote chemtrail in the painting, but that's not what it is to me. It represents London's mom that we lost too soon. And I sometimes cry at this point in the video. So a little bit of white paint. We're going to come out of a cloud. Maybe over here. you got to have the right angle, though, and not too much. A little bit of paint. A little bit of paint, little angle, and there's mom right there. All right, flying through the sky. 
We're gonna take our brush, make sure it's nice and dry, no other colors, because you don't want to darken it or mix it up. Is my afro in the way? <laughs> no, fine, you look good. So we got the brush, we just dabbed it on a paper towel, right? So there's still a little bit of kind of light color, I don't know what it is. Now I'm gonna go two or three swipes into the cloud and then one long straight swipe out, right? So just to soften this guy, kind of pushes him back and then take it out like that. Very cool. And that represents London's mom and she's always out there flying with us. Every time I'm, you know, if you're in the city, if you're in the, the, the deepest, darkest, you know, Amazonian jungle and you look up, you're gonna see one of those. At least, at least one. Every day at work, I look up and see like seven of them. So. That is pretty daggone cool. Thank I got to admit, man. Okay, I'm back. Hey, baby, are you crying yet? No. Almost. But you just no. took mom in. I know, I saw. All right, now we're going to get our, our, our brush cleaner, that odorless mineral spirits. All right, I'll even show you what brand we use. I'm going to go into our first little bit of purple paint. So it's not too... Actually, no, I'm going to go into the dark, okay? I'm going to go into now, the dark. Now, is good when it comes time to paint something in the house? Oh, wait. By wait. painting a wall? Yeah. I could paint a wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we painted uh, Bailey's room at Dad's house, remember? Yep, and the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, those came out pretty good. Okay, now, I don't know if you guys can all see. I'm trying... The, this stuff's very liquidy, right? And it takes the paint, gets very thin. So I'm running through just the smallest bit. This is the smallest liner brush you've ever seen. Okay, on Facebook, hun, can you see? Yep. Yeah, on YouTube? Yep. Like a needle. Yeah, almost, right? I've taken it. The original base was all bristles, but they start to fray over time. And then they start getting in your way as you're trying to do little things and you have a little frayed bristle sticking out. And so I start to cut them and I trim them and I trim them and I trim them until Eventually, it looks like this. This cannot be trimmed anymore. So when this one goes bad, I don't have a liner brush. I need to, I need to get more liner brushes. If you guys can help me out in my Amazon wish list, I have some liner brushes in there. And um, otherwise, I'm not going to be able to make the birds. What are we going to do if I can't make the birds, babe? Hashtag Lincoln Bio. Lincoln Bio, right? Over here, we're going to take that liner brush. And let's say, we'll put them down here. Oh, yeah, like they're flying through the mountains. Right? And these birds represent myself. My gorgeous wife, London, and our beautiful daughter. And they go into every painting as part of the signature somewhere, flying through. It's really the only way we get to travel. When people think I'm joking, I'm not. Like, when we go on vacation, it's me and Bailey. If uh, but Bailey and London go somewhere, then I'm here, right? What Someone's... do you mean if Bailey and London go somewhere? I said what if, was... if. Yeah, I was going to say if. We it's usually anywhere. London staying home, watching the animals, and, you know, living on TikTok. I, I thought I was the only one who caught that F portion. <laughs> no, it's it's factually correct. I yeah, don't this, I don't go on vacation. This thing is like coming down over my face. I can't even see you guys. Hey. You got ba <laughs> you got bangs now. <laughs> yeah, right. I got bangs. All right, I gotta take this off. It's getting too hot. Woo! What do that I look like? Pretty damn cool, man. My hair. Oh, my hair is just filth. It's just horrible. All right, now. Yeah, I keep my hair cut pretty short. I do too. It's time for me to get another one. I have this uh, awesome wave in the front of my hair that I like to do. Um, yeah, my camera yet has it. What's up? Oh, the, 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 the camera's camera. this side. Come see. When I, see. My hair cut pretty short. Oh yeah, yeah. He was just bald. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. The uh, I I, I should have remembered that too. Okay, let's put the old signature in. How long was this? You have been live for about one hour 90, and 23 minutes, influencer. About 90 minutes. All right. So I got all this liquid white out because I thought we were going to do like some trees or some sort of something. And then at the last second, I was like, oh, we'll do Islands of the Gods. And, and uh, oh, guys, remember, come up with your names. Now's the time to start typing in your names. Type, 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 type. Hit me with your names. The first one was called Islands of the Gods. I can't remember who named it. Uh, one of the TikTok fans named it or one of the viewers. But start coming up with your names. Type them in the comments. And then um, maybe Swerve in London can read out the names of the, the paintings. Would that be cool? Yeah. Swerve, you all right with that? Riley says Flex Mountain. Flex? Oh, because of this little guy up here. I forgot. He looks like he's like Flex. Do you guys see that? In the clouds? Yeah. That was just random. And it looks like a little dude with a big head and he's like flexing. It's so funny. All right. She says Royal Peaks. 
Royal Peace. Oh, gosh dang it. I never get it right on the first go. It says liner brush. Guys, I need new liner brushes. Somebody, please. Please help me with these liner brushes. We got Mountain Dreams as a select as a suggestion. Mountain Dreams. Oh, you know how hard it is to write a letter when you have about 50 bristles all trying to go different directions? There we go. Rose Garden says the circle of life. Oh my goodness, this looks like garbage. Alright, don't put it over here. Life. Mountain of life. Circle of life, I heard. Riley says, Flight of Majesty. I like that. That is just, there's just so much depth in there. Um, it it kind of, I kind of feel like if I, if I step back and I stared at it, if I was standing there right in front of it, I would eventually see the mountains just kind of come to life and the clouds moving. Right, and just see them slowly floating yeah. through. In, in yeah. your mind, would they be would they be floating from left to right, or would they be floating from right to left? It's hard to say. <laughs> it's hard to say. Depends on the day, I guess. Yeah. We have graceful mountain skies. We've got magnif magnificent mountain majesty. We've got a really dry mouth that needs a drink. Remember, I told you guys this thing is like it's still a little bit cold. About halfway down, I've been drinking it for an hour and a half. Who has a Red Bull for an hour and a half? Someone who can only have one a day and needs to savor it. <laughs> mm. And we've got we've got a moister in the comments that said moist peaks. Moist peaks. Moist St peaks. There you go. They just follow. They, they follow Swerve around. Remember, guys, uh, if this is your first time watching, uh, tell me where you're watching from and what's your favorite sandwich. Write it in the comments. What's your the favorite sandwich? If you missed tough, it, by the way, what'd you say? The moist. Mountaintops. Yeah. I put, when I named the TikTok, I named it Mountaintop Clouds when I showed you how to do this one. But, well, the, that is, the first that one. Is just, that is pretty damn cool. Wakandan Songbird says, it looks like the mountains from Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. Ooh. I like yeah. that. So what would we call it, though? You know what I mean? We can't call it Temple of Doom. Uh, we've got Heaven Peaks. Heavenly Peaks. <laughs> Tokyo Mist. I kind of like that's just, that's just cool. Tokyo Mist? I like yep. that too. Shay says Hannibal's End. Ooh, Hannibal's End. Himalayan Dream. Himalayan <laughs> Dream, I like that. Yeah, I like that too. I don't think I could spell Himalayan though. <laughs> <laughs> I think I you misspell that. Name Himalayan. Uh, uh, my net. I need my phone to autocorrect it, and I can't do that if I'm writing I, it. Babe, I can spell it for you. Okay. Endless Wonder. Endless Wonder. I like that. Summits at Dawn. Triple Miracle. Ooh. Dream Behind the Cloud. It just looks, in, that, I mean, it just looks intense. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peanut butter and banana. I Pe think that's a sandwich oh. favorite. No, nope, that's the, the name. Painting. That's the name of the painting. Peanut, Peanut butter, butter and banana. And banana. <laughs> <laughs> How about, uh, what about Peekaboo Street? The famous skier? The Olympic athlete? She what is was known for skiing down mountains like that at breakneck speeds. Right. What was the name, though? Her name is Peekaboo Streets, if I remember correctly. Give me one second, guys. I'm just going to borrow Josh very quickly. Come yeah. here, put your palette down. Oh, okay. Let's see. That looks so freaking cool. Frozen Giants. I like that. I suppose, what if, um, I mean, if you had a Star Wars fan out there, they could call it simply Hoth. H O T H. Cause that's what that's what Hoth looked like in Empires of the Strike Back. It was all snow and fog and snowstorms. Jay, I don't I don't know if you were here when I was talking about. I got my mother on the phone, and uh, she called me on Facetime, and I put the camera in front so she could see what I was watching here. And uh, she she goes, "Does he have an afro?" 
That was the first thing that she said to me. I do. I put it on earlier. Hey, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as much as I appreciate everyone's suggestions, um, I would like to make a suggestion for this painting. Okay. What do you want to call it? I want to call it Tyree Dreams. Okay. Let's see. Let's turn around. Let's see. Right here. Dang. Okay. Let's first we're gonna sign it. That this one's number six forty eight, I think. Let me check this other one. Yep. All right. Oh, Nelly. Okay. There we go. Number. That was pretty fun, dude. It's only so much I can do, and I feel like this is perfect for today. All right, so how do we spell it? T-Y-R-E Dreams. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to write all of my links that are all down here. You guys could have been looking at them the whole time, unless you're watching on YouTube or Facebook and you wouldn't have seen them. But we're gonna go over here. Let me write, we're gonna pull my sleeves up. I'm always afraid that I'm gonna get paint from this <laughs> bottom bit onto my clothes. Like there's not paint all over my clothes anyway. You guys see the new tattoo? Well, not new, but kind of retouched tattoo. Like Fuzz, Fuzz says he's also in the clouds. Redbed says, um, I'm not crying, you're crying. Chase right. says, love it. Alright, guys, if you're watching on Facebook or TikTok, go to youtube.com slash paint with Josh. I need a new marker, babe. This thing's like almost worn down to nothing. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube or TikTok, go to facebook.com slash paint with Josh. We just broke 22,000 followers last night, babe. Oh, amazing. I woke up this morning and said 22,000 on Facebook. So, facebook.com slash paintwithjosh if you're over there. Because I sure am taking over Facebook over there, baby. All right. And then we go to our, our store website, which is Paint With Josh. Josh is getting ready to suck a bird, suck a bird. Right? Dot Etsy. Got to spell it right. Dot com. So, you're buying it from Paint With Josh through Etsy.com, right? And, of course, my biggest... Most interactive audience, TikTok. And that is Paint with Josh K. Damn. All lowercase letters. So, is there anything else I'm missing, honey? No. I guess we could throw paintwithjosh.com on there. There we go. Perfection. Awesome title. And we'll flip it around. This is number 648. I can't believe it. We painted 648 paintings in four years. Look at this reveal. Ta-da! That is amazing, man. That is simply amazing. All right, guys. Wicked. Looking at the top where you have the mountain meeting, what I can only describe as the hue of the sun rising up behind it. Right. And then the clouds, it just... There's just so much depth and so much character there. Thank you. It, it's not even... I, don't, I, I wish I had that kind of talent. I really did. <laughs> you did that cheesy grin again yep. when you laid the camera. Let me see if the... I'm going to turn and spin the light. Oh, there we go. It's a little... Well, I guess you sort of need it. The light gets a little bit of glare on the right-hand side. And uh, those clouds over on the right-hand side look a little bit wispy from back here. Sometimes you have to step back and look at it back from, you know, a few feet, four, five, six feet back where the cameras are back here, right? And that way you can actually see what it looks like because a lot of times you're, they call it being too close to the project. And if you're too close, you can't really see it. doesn't make any sense, but you can't. No, those look a little bit softer, a little bit less super bright white in your face in areas that we've missed, right? Softly swiping over, just like that. I gotta clean these brushes again. Still looks good. Thank you, thank you. There is nothing I would change about this. I love the mountain, how it comes down. I love the lighting, how it picks back up over here. That little peak that's in the sun over there. Maybe he's far enough back that it's behind this first thing. Ah, it's just wicked. I love our little ledge that we created right there. 
I love I this. Say, I say, I remember you put the ledge on there, and it, like it, I didn't even see it sitting there the way you did. Right. But when you put that piece of white across the top of it, then I was like, that makes sense. That's exactly. Yeah. Well, that's what's funny. I'm going to show you what I'm. I'm going to show you real quick, at least on TikTok. I'm going to show you guys. Do you want me? What to? I'm looking at, right? Because I'm over here standing by the painting, looking at my TV that's showing me what you guys can see, right? That's what I see. So I look up to check and see if the if the the paintings in the you know if the mountains are looking like they're going off the wrong way or if everything's straight, and then I can check and see um, you know about my perspective. Does it look okay? And that's why a lot of times if you're watching me on YouTube or Facebook and you see me look over here, I, if I look at you guys, there's nothing for me to see back here. It's in the back of the phone. Face. <laughs> Give me a kiss, honey. Mm, I love you. Oh, I love you so much. Um, but yeah, I can't. You looking at us. I thought you were just ignoring us. Yeah. No, no one cares about me anyway, right? It's not like this. This is paint with Josh from the arm down. This is paint with Josh. This is what everyone cares about, right? They don't care about the face. This is paint with Josh. Hello. Hi. Right, hang on. Hello. I'm sitting here like our host isn't very hospitable right now. Ah, you guys are so mean. Watch. Hang on. I just want to let you know that Papa GGO purchased some items off your wish list. You give him a little soul patch, too. This is Paint with Josh. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I was going to say, on the back of your right hand, you should paint a face on the back of your right hand. So <laughs> brush. I should. You I, should. I thought about getting, like, custom gloves to have my logo right here or, like, a sticker. But it's just, I mean, I paint so often and I go through gloves so fast that it just does, it's not feasible. You should show a, you should show a swerve the tattoo on your arm, you just go. Oh, the, yeah, I need this sweater is getting really hot anyway. The sweater is getting warm up here. Do you have the heating on up here? Ladies, on, calm gotta, down. He's about to take I'm about sweater. to take my shirt off, girls. Careful with my bed. With my bed head this morning, right? What's my bed head look like today? You look good? <laughs> no, you still look like Bruno Mars. <laughs> yeah. Come on, baby. 24 karat magic in the air. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Taking off the old, the old paint with Josh sweater. I got nothing in my pockets. Do you have anything underneath? Yes. I have my, oh. my skin underneath. Hey. My 177 pound self. Sorry. Oh. I haven't been 177 pounds since before I met London, like 13 years ago. Okay, yeah, tattoo. Woo! Oh, Where tattoo. Sorry, I was wondering why I took it off. It's you kind of have to look at it upside down. Mm. So I got my daughter's my daughter's name, and then the muscle tissue underneath with the tendons that run down, and then one of the tendons is a little liner brush. It's my little my little liner brush right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. See it? Yep. <laughs> yep. You see it on all the... Yep. So, and if you can imagine, you see how these start to go gray. That's because there are more brushes that are right up inside my hand at all times, ready to paint, right? At least that's the thought. Something lame like that. Something lame like thought. that, he says. All right, let's finish. Just, okay, so we... About bad head anymore. I haven't had to worry about bad head in about 10 years. You're right. Oh, we got a crane. We got a paper hey, crane. Paper crane. So, Swervin was asking how we clean up. Oh, now, yeah. I don't really want to do much because I don't have my gloves on. I don't want to get any on my fingers. So, I scrape up all the paint that we can get off of the canvas like we did before and we wipe it over on a paper towel. And I save these big piles because I literally I'm going to paint tonight for the live. Uh, ooh, I almost knocked my Red Bull over. That would have been, a tr I would have cried. Had I knocked my last bit of Red Bull over. Oh, that would have been so sad. And I would have laughed. No, you would have to, I would have had to go out and get another one. I would have laughed. Okay, so now we've scrubbed off all the paint that we can get. Now we're going to grab some paper towels. I need to actually get gloves, so I'm not going to do this without gloves. I would have laughed. <clears throat> I would have been like, ah-ha. Like my hands mail are all, house from Simpsons. My hands are all sweaty. It's hard to... Uh, I would have laughed with you. I'm, I'm just being real with you. Good. Hard I hope so. On now that my hands are all sweaty and wet. Oh no. Get it on there. I don't need them on. I don't need them to look pretty. I just need them on. There we go. Hey, here comes the trash guy to ruin the videos. No, it's the FedEx truck. Oh. And he just kept driving. 
One time I was doing a TikTok and I had the window open and there's this little boy who lives down the street, a couple houses, and he loves trash trucks, right? And so anytime the trash man comes out, he's outside with his little trash truck toy, just like a, just like a viral video. And, uh, and the trash man honks at him. So I'm in the middle of doing these trees. And I'm like, you just come down like this. And it's like, bah, bah. And I'm like, thanks trash man for ruining my video. Bah, bah, bah. It's cute though. It's super I was, cute. What was I, I going to do? I was going to watch one day. And uh, I do a lot of political TikToking. And somebody got into my guest box one day. And they just said one of the most ridiculous things I'd ever heard in my life. And I said, I said, wait a minute, man, you can't be serious. Like, am I being punked? <laughs> there, there are two black vans outside my house work right now waiting for Ashton Kutcher to how many, just jump out. Yeah. How many followers yeah. do you have over there? Eight. And 72, I looked out thousand. my porch screen over here, and there were two black vans that had just pulled up in front of my house. <laughs> Freaked me the hell out. They were Amazon vans, though. So. That's funny. <laughs> They're just going to jump out and be like, yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> so I've taken yeah. some, some paper towels, right? Just folded them over into quarters and then into fifths, I guess, whatever you fold it over again. Just take a little bit. I'll even show you. You don't need that much. You can take, can you even see that it's wet? Move it over. Because it's all clear. Yeah. yeah. You can tell that it's wet, right? You don't need a whole lot. And if you have too much, it'll get too, uh, too messy and wet. So these glass palettes are very cool. And uh, I kind of spread it out where the wet side down. And then you start to wipe, and you wipe all that stuff away, just like that. And give our nice clean area again. So basically, you don't need it to be very moist. No, he does not need moist. He needs dry. He needs Got dry. It. See, now in areas like this, where I've let the paint go, and it's stuck on there, now I'm going to have to get it and scrape it with a palette knife until it comes. I soak it. I let the, the paint there kind of sit on there for a little bit. And I scrape, and then I dip a little bit more thinner on there, and I scrape and scrape. And, you know, everyone's got a different way of doing that part. But, yeah, Josh paints uh, about seven times a week. Seven? Yeah. That's every day. Yeah, but if you think about it, babe, sometimes you do multiple canvases. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, I do, I paint on Thursday night is when I do the tutorial that comes out two weeks later, right? I've already got two in the box at all times ready to fire off. If we have a, a, like a big thing like reaching 22,000 followers or reaching 20,000 followers and we launch those two tutorials that week in one go, it's because I always have content ready to go. So on Thursday night, I paint, uh, I might go live on TikTok just to have content for my TikTok videos uh, that I make little one minute videos out of. So I do that, but I don't reference you guys. I don't, I don't look at the camera. I'm literally, you're just seeing a, a, back, a behind the scenes view of the tutorial that's being made. And then on Friday night, I do the silent lives where we do, well, it's not silent, it's quiet. Music. Music, quiet. Kind of We've got to come up with a good name for it. Quiet, soft. Just ASMR Yeah, lives. I've been titling it ASMR quiet relaxation painting is what yeah. the title is. It's 17 minutes you're asleep. Shay has confirmed that she has also fallen asleep twice now to your lives. <laughs> they are super relaxing. There we go. Now I'm taking a dry paper towel. Just to get any of the wet residue. Get any the, of the moisture off, Swerve. No moisture on the palette. Well, yeah, like that, the like low odor, or the odorless mineral spirits, it's it will evaporate. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? for sure. Like gasoline. You put it down, and it'll just start to eventually go away. But uh, I like to have it nice and dry. That way I'm not touching anything, not contaminating it. Especially if I grab, pick this up to move it, and I don't have any gloves on or anything like that, then I'm not getting anything on my skin. Dad's here in the comments. Hey, Dad. Thanks for watching. What were you going to say, Swerve? Whew, nice and clean. Brand new. You can see right through it. And what he's doing, I understand the need for the dryness. Yes. But I'm not giving up the moist. No, that's fine. I, I, I understand. <laughs> you guys I understand. are gross. I will, uh, I will be sure to inform Goddess that you understand the dry movement. But no. your, your need... Mm -hmm. Your need to remain moist is still fully intact. You guys are talking about things that no one else knows about. <laughs> everybody, everybody here knows exactly TikTok, what we're talking about, TikTok, but you. Yeah, but no one else on <laughs> but you. the platforms know what you're talking about. So, <laughs> let's get ready to say goodbye, everybody. We did an awesome painting today. It was a great show. I want to thank Swervin for being here, for sure. Could you just tell people about how awesome my candles are? Yeah, I told them, I've told them many times. <laughs> Why don't you go grab one? 
Oh. You go grab a candle. London's gonna go downstairs and grab one of her candles. And uh, in the meantime, I want to tell you guys how beautiful she looks today. Oh my, I don't know that I'll be able to contain myself, honey. She's, well, she's too far away to hear. Just do it, don't do it on camera, you'll be fine. No, definitely but, Josh, I appreciate you all having me up. Uh, hey, definitely. Watching this process and seeing you do it and go through it and, and meeting you finally for the first time. Uh, yeah, this was a great experience for me. I was in a zen state of mind again. And uh, I was sitting here, and had I been sitting up in my bed, I definitely would have probably dozed off for a little while and woke up to the finished product. And uh, it looks great. Well, it thank really you. looks I, I appreciate you being here and, and commentating and, and boosting my ego. I really appreciate that. Oh, not a problem, man. You keep doing what you do, and I'll keep boosting your ego. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> for sure. So, Swerve, you got one of these candles coming too, don't you? Yes. Yeah, yes. so I think yours is nice a purple. to make one for me. It's a purple one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I actually boxed it up Yeah, last night. I boxed yeah. it up. So you'll probably be getting, we send it out on Monday, I think. So these are what London's candles look like. This is the 8-ounce size. I don't know if you guys can see the labels. There we go. Ooh, tilt it down. These are the 8-ounce size ones, right? And this one's called Lemon Kisses. I'll go over to the other cameras, too. Okay. I'll show everybody. Oh, my heck. Where are we going? Okay. Lemon Kisses. It smells like... A lemon, a hug. lemon hug. See on Facebook, everybody see? These are fantastic soy wax, uh, soy coconut wax candles. They're very glittery, right? They look sort of, um, and this one's a little moving. Um, they look very glittery on the top and they look very kind of light colored, right? But when you start to melt them, they'll change to whatever color they are on the bottom. So in this instance, this one's a very bright yellowy gold. And uh, when you start to melt them, oh, they just turn into little glittery volcanoes around the flame. They're very cool. And these are the 8-ounce size, and they come in a 12-ounce size as well. And anybody who's listened, I can attest, she burned one for us. Um, I think it was Wednesday, if I recall, London. Yeah. She burned one, and you could just see, Josh, she described it perfectly. It was like a little, it was like a little flaming volcano because yeah. the glitter just kept. And it like, ooh, yeah, it's uh, like. Yeah, it looked, the damn thing looked like it was alive. Okay, right. there. It, it, like, it comes up from the bottom and goes out. It's like a constant revolving lava yeah. pit. It's so cool looking. And you never realized there was that much movement in wax because the wax is normally very clear, you know what I mean? But with our candles, we put the mica powder in there so you can see every single piece of glitter. It's like looking at a universe. It's awesome. It is. That's really exactly cool. how I described it to her the first time she poured one. I was like, oh, man, come on. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, right? And They're so turned neat, into, too. like, a turtle shell, then the birth of the cosmos. Aww. And uh, the only thing that would have made it better if Neil deGrasse Tyson had been narrating. Right? <laughs> and this one, this one smells like lemon pound cake. Um, it's got, like, a, you get that lemon smell, and then you also get that sweet icing smell, like you would have on the top of a, of a mm. lemon pound cake. It's so good. One of my favorite, one of the most strong scents. She also does a coffee scent. Uh, and you can, like, you can have a lemon pound cake, but have it purple if you want. You know what yeah. I mean? It doesn't have to be yellow. Pick you can cus have a, custom colors on TikTok. You can TikTok. have a bright blue coffee scented one. Or a, a bright, or a dark brown uh, uh, Kentucky blueberry bourbon cheesecake. Yep. scented one. Or blueberry cheesecake. All the different colors. She has about 70 different glittery mica powder tubs. And she mixes and does everything live for you right on TikTok. So go over to the London Candle Co. Etsy.com. How much are these candles, babe? Uh, those candles right now in my store are $12. The 12 ounce ones are $17.50. So, and that's because you're running a 50% off sale? Correct. But so, at full price, they would be $24.35. All right. And does that include shipping or do you pay a little for shipping as you well? You pay a little for shipping. I'm trying okay. to get it at a point where I have enough consistent orders where I hit that next discount on shipping. Right. Uh, which we're trying to do right now. We bought smaller boxes so that we can... We bought more uniform boxes. Yes, yeah, so, so that we can concrete our shipping costs, which hopefully will relate to lower shipping prices for the customers as well. We'll see what Bob has to say about the candles. <laughs> Make some nice little clouds. <laughs> Yeah, it's yes. a, a Bob Ross bobblehead. And he doesn't fit. I get comments all the time. How come Bob's neck is broken? Like, he doesn't fit underneath <laughs> unless I wedge his neck to where he's like, what'd you say? What? So, so Bob is basically sitting in there like, y'all need to hurry up and get me out of here. Yeah, right? He's like, my yeah. neck. Oh, my neck hurts. So, yeah, everyone go 
Check out The London Candle Co. Her Etsy is thelondoncandleco.etsy.com. And then if you're on TikTok, go to The London Candle Co., all one word. And if you make your purchases during the week or the weekend, she goes live on TikTok on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 1 p.m. At, not this coming week. This oh. coming week, it'll be 6 p.m. Pacific Standard because I okay. have to... I have to go drive first the, the Elon okay. Musk this okay. week. So it's on um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, so 9 p.m. Eastern, and uh, she'll pour your order. So if you're like, okay, I want a Kentucky bourbon candle, and I want a blueberry kisses, and I want a Florida brunch, right? And you go through, she'll literally pour them, and then you'll have little video clips that you'll be able to go back and look at when we do the TikTok videos and edit them and all that stuff. So it's really neat. And then they get sent to you. Perfect little packaging. It's fantastic. Um, eight o'clock. I know you are, but it's okay. But I was I was still happy to be there these, these past couple of days and, and see that and uh, it's a, that went, yeah. Was, it's only next week. The week after, we'll be back at one p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But next week, I have a three day uh, a, a three day requirement to go drive um, for the Vegas Loop. So three day adventure. Yes. Because there's a convention in town. So remember, guys, uh, this is your last chance. If you want to buy this painting and save about 40 or $50, you can get it right now before the show ends. Uh, and if you go there to paintwithjosh.etsy.com and search in the little search bar for TikTok, it'll pull up a listing that's got me with, like, big binoculars on. And uh, that's the one you want to buy. Uh, it'll You'll save about 40 or $50. And if you wait, then it'll be a little bit more expensive. But they do come with free shipping tracking priority three day uh, two to three day mail so as soon as it's dry and ready you get the uh, tracking info and then it'll show up in the next couple days it's fantastic outstanding looks incredible Thank looks you. incredible just before wonderful wonderful work man really Thank you so much i'm loving it so i'm gonna drop myself down again right josh thank you all for having me up i appreciate you thank you Swift. thank you for being here I'm going to tune in tonight so I can see how fast she can put me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I'm we'll be here. Omniac since I was 12 years old, so we'll see if it really works. It hey, does. I promise it does. Um, it really does. Without me blabbing, you actually can relax and go to sleep. <laughs> so. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you later, Swervin. And uh, thanks for Take being here again. Take care, London. Th you too, Swerve. All right, guys. Well, that was a great, awesome little show. I mean, it was a little long. Woo, it was a little long. That's all right. We've a got a two-hour show, we've right? Got to do some house cleaning. So, oh, like, <coughs> in real life, house cleaning? Yeah. No, oh, I have. I've got you know you stuff, stuff to and do, editing, and all that stuff. Okay. Well, I love you guys. If the cameras are zoomed in far enough or whatever, um, you guys have been fantastic today. It was a really long show. I'm glad we brought Swerving in, though. That was really fun. Get to hear another person's reaction to me painting right it's very neat i like here i love being confidence boosted it's so nice so uh, but until we see you guys again next time uh, i want to thank you for tuning in you'll be able to try this painting you'll be able to rewatch the video as soon as we end and uh you know come up with your own version of tyree's dreams or tyree dreams so that's what we're calling this one so until we see you guys again next time take care Oh, I still don't have my hat on. I've been sitting here with bad head this whole time. It's lovely. Oh, my. We love it. The ladies oh, love my. it. Oh, my. I thought I had... I, oh, ladies. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Rose, Rose Garden. No cameras, please. please. Please, please, please send the photo over on Facebook. That would be amazing. If you're looking for any of Josh's links, they're in his TikTok. They're in his TikTok link in bio. It's his full link tree. Um, head over there, and that'll give you all of uh, all of his links. So... Well, it sounds like someone's in the Etsy store. They are in the Etsy purchase. store. Maybe, hopefully. Maybe say goodbye, I'll purchase babe. It before, before I go to list it and save that money. Okay, well, guys, uh, until we see you guys again next time, we want to thank you for tuning in. Send your photos of this painting or any of the tutorials that you've done into facebook.com slash paintwithjosh via Facebook Messenger. And uh, I can't wait. Don't forget, Annette, we still got to hook up our class. Um, and I think I have another class coming up on the 20th. Was it supposed to be the 25th, that lady on Instagram? I thought uh, it was supposed to be today. Is it tomorrow? To be today? Yeah. Or tomorrow? Okay, well, yeah. And then I got that thing with Maria tomorrow. The Tomorrow night we'll do the paint off thing. Cool. It'll be neat. So, all right, guys. Well, until we see you guys again next time, come back later on tonight on TikTok.com slash the at symbol paint with Josh K, all in lowercase. And we'll do a silent painting where we'll just come up with something live 
and uh, write in person without me even speaking. So, less talking, more painting. That's the one you want to watch right there. So, but until we see you guys again next time, over on Facebook or YouTube, which one are you going to hit first? This one. Hey, so over on Facebook, you guys take care. Have the rest of a good day. And what do we always say at the end? Pow pow! Pow pow! <laughs> Oh, it's so much fun. Okay, say goodbye to YouTube. Okay, bye YouTube. See you guys later. Uh, I'd love to see your photos. Send it into facebook.com slash paintwithjosh. And until we see you guys again next time, boom, boom, get them out of here, man.